So this first work here is by Fatima Tugar, who um, in 2019 was one of three Charlotte Street um, award winners that had an exhibition here at Kemper Museum. And we started a great initiative where we collected one work from each of those artists. So again, discussing our, our collecting history. And so Fatima really thinks about technology and this work specifically is called Home's Horizon. And she was thinking about the meaning of home and um, how that is portrayed with technology and how we use technology to think about ideas of home and what does home mean and what does home mean to who. Since I'm here, <laughs> I will talk about Sia Armajani. So this was completed in 2000 and it is titled Kansas City Number no. One and it is a representation of the Missouri River part of the exhibition that we had of his work in 2016 and then was gifted to the museum at our 20th anniversary. Right behind you in the purple shirt, maybe you can be Vanna White for me. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and Ducey was really excited about this and she was thinking about how um, as early as 1895, the government wanted to tame the river and they wanted to do that, you know, one, to help with flooding control, and then also to help with navigation. But in the end, that wasn't sustainable, and the um, you know, Missouri River was, was, was too much, and what they had planned in 1885 didn't work. And so she found that as um, a nice representation and jumping off point for this work. So this is by William Christianberry. He was born in Alabama and then moved away but did what he called pilgrimages back to Alabama and the surrounding areas. And when he was there, he would take photographs of depleting buildings. And he was really interested in you know, how things had changed. Then in 1974, he started turning these photographs into structures. He doesn't, or he did not call them models, but structures that are representative of the photographs that he took. And what's also really fascinating and exciting is that almost always he would take soil from that space and include that in these structures. And then finally, I will talk about Polly Applebaum Squiggles, which is the work um, here on the floor. So she calls her works Fallen Paintings. And in 2018, we had an exhibition of her work Waiting for the UFOs, a space set between a landscape and a bunch of flowers. And so, again, you can think just from the title of the exhibition, Wabi would have included this in um, an exhibition about landscape. But then you can also see the wonderful movement of the lines, can be reminiscent of the water that you can see there in the Richard Moss. So thank you all so much for joining us. And please let us know if you have any questions.